Hello guys, this is Steve Daniels again with DUI Do Consultants. We're here at the Lando uh, Hilton at the Blood Beth and Tear Seminar for the uh, Federal in the uh, Florida Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers. What I'm going to attempt to do now is I'm going to show you a demonstration on why the Intoxilizer 8000 has problems distinguishing true mouth alcohol and breath alcohol. If you watch, I'm going to blow in the machine. I've got to provide 1.1 liter breath of air and you're going to see zero. So on the left side of the screen, you're going to see my breath alcohol concentration, which is between zeros, and the right side, the volume. So if you could focus in on this now. All right, there you go. I blew zeros. And my breath volume is 1.316. Now, what I'm going to do now is my drink, my drink of choice is potato vodka. I'm going to do potato vodka. Better yet, I'm going to show you with beer. Here's a Corona that I just opened. Um, I've had more success in getting a Corona uh, are using wine and getting two readings within a 2 agreement of each other, uh, which people have told me it's impossible to do. Um, I haven't had success in doing it with vodka, but when I started doing the test with beer and wine, I, I was successful in getting two readings within a 2 agreement. So here we go. And what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to drink this and actually spit it out, um, and then uh, I'm going to blow into the machine. What you're going to see is a, it's going to give me a BRAC reading, which is pure mouth alcohol. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm going to back up for a minute. Sure. Get me in it. What I'm going to attempt to do now, I'm going to blow just like someone who's been arrested for a DUI. No one wants to blow into this machine. So I'm going to blow slow and steady, just enough to activate the tone. And I'm going to stop when I get 1.1. Here we go. There you go. I just blew an 072 on beer. I rinsed my mouth with beer. I had a sufficient sample. That's a demonstration of showing you how this machine has problems distinguishing true mouth alcohol and breath alcohol. So what did you see? You saw me first blow the machine to show you I had no mouth alcohol. You saw me rinse my mouth with Corona, recycle the machine, and I just blew an 072 with sufficient volume. Um, the demonstration is purely to show that there's problems distinguishing the difference between mouth alcohol and breath alcohol. Not about a 20 minute observation period. Um, so you can see some of the problems with this machine that Florida's using. Once again, this is Steve Daniels with DUI and Duke Consultants. Thanks and have a great day. Don't drink and drive.